G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick. Today we're gonna to dive straight into doing this text animation in After Effects, which is super simple. It's only a couple of keyframes, so let's dive right in. So first off, this is the animation we've got right here. As you can see, we've only got two keyframes here and it's just on a range uh, selector that we've got applied to the text effector. So I'll show you how to do that real quick, super basic. It's gonna be super easy, barely an inconvenience. We're gonna dive in here, we've got our text in here, and just in case you don't know how to make a piece of text, we'll just delete this and we'll just go into the type tool here and we're gonna go fix it in post. We're not gonna learn the type, which is fantastic. We're going to make the paragraph center center justified and then we'll go to the line tool and then we'll just click that and then click that and then now it's nice and centered which is fantastic now all we have to do here is twirl down and then go to the text effector and go to animate and we're going to apply the all transform properties now what's great is that you can just select properties that you want to change so we're going to go to the position here and we're going to go slide it down from the original position it was and then we're also going to turn the opacity down now nothing happens because we haven't set any keyframes yet so let's go back to the very beginning and we'll go to the range selector here and we'll set a start keyframe here so click on the stopwatch on start let's go to the end about one second and then let's zoom it up to 100 percent now if we play it back and press space bar you can see that it does something funky like that now what's cool about this is that you can actually change the parameters of how you would like that to be so if you wanted to start say going from going uh from the start if you want the start point to go to be above all you have to do is change the up the start position here and make it go above and then it'll come down from above and or likewise if you wanted to make it go just do a fade on rather than doing uh doing any movement whatsoever you can just make it start from nowhere and just fade on like that or you can make it start from the left or make it start from the right which is really cool uh the other thing too is that you can if you go to the advanced tab here you can actually change this to words so if you want to fade up each word separately or you can change it to just a line. So if we had two lines, so if we split this into two lines, I'll show you how that kind of works. I mean, you'll probably get it, but I'll just show you anyway. So it'll just do it line by line, which is kind of cool. All right, but well, let's go back to our original example and let's see if we can make this a little bit funkier. So right now I'm just gonna do it from a fade from the bottom. So fade up like that, which is kind of cool. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna change, now right now that looks just a little bit like, not very interesting, like it sort of just clunks into place like that, which I don't like. And so what we can do is we can go to the ease low and we'll actually turn that up all the way to 100. So it just eases in the last keyframe. And that's looking a lot better. And that works with whatever you like. So if we change it to words, you can kind of see it kind of does the same thing. Again, a lot more interesting. So that's it. That's basically how you make a very simple text effector in After Effects. And what's even better is that you can select that animator and then go to effects, oh sorry, animation, and then save it as an animation preset. And then you can call it up anytime you like. I have it actually here as a text effector that I have as a preset. So I'm using uh, Video Copilot's um, FX console. And right now I have this as a preset here called which is slide up and so I can just apply that anytime I like and the keyframes are already there. And speaking of text animations guys, if you're looking for some presets that you can just throw into Premiere and you can't be bothered having to make them yourself, I've actually got this really awesome pack called the Lyric Video Creator Kit which you can get right in the description right now. It's a uh, 22 preset text effects that you can just drag and drop into Premiere and it'll just do all the work for you. I've done all the hard work so you don't have to guys. So grab that pack in the description below. All right, so you're obviously here for a couple of other things. I'm gonna show you how to do these funky little lines that come at the top and the bottom of the screen here. It's only just one layer and it's very easy to do. So I'm just gonna delete this for now and show you how to do it. Select the pen tool. And if you've got the fill on, change it to transparent. And if you go to stroke, make sure this is set to filled. And click the color here and we're gonna color pick this color in here like this. Now we're gonna turn on the title saves here just so I can find the middle of the composition. So if you go to this little crosshair here and 
click on title action safe it'll actually give you a crosshair that's right dead center so what I'm going to do here is actually with nothing selected in the timeline I'm just going to click here and then I'm going to select a point holding shift and it's going to create a straight line now, as you can see here, there's a straight line that comes. It's, I didn't quite get it dead center, but we're gonna. It's close enough as long as it's like mostly center in the vertical here. I'm just gonna turn off the text for now, just so it's a little bit easier to see. All right. So if we twirl down, we've actually just created a path shape, and uh, what we're gonna do now is add a repeater. So if you go to where it says Add under the contents, and we go to Repeater. It's gonna create this little funky extra thing, but don't worry, we're gonna fix that up in a second because that's not what we want. We're gonna change the copies to two. And what we're gonna actually do here is actually mirror the image so that the what's on the opposite side of this anchor point here, if you can see here, the anchor point is right in the middle. What's on the opposite side of this anchor point will be mirrored. And we're gonna change this uh, position to zero. And what we're gonna do is we're going to change this to minus 100. And as you can see here, what happens now is that whatever we do to the left side of the screen will be mirrored on the right side of the screen. Pretty funky, huh? And that also means this side as well. So that's one part of that. Now, the second part is actually animating it. And what we do is we'll add another, go to the con click on contents and go to trim path and if we put a trim path on it, what we can do is we can twirl down trim path and go to the end and we'll click the stop logic at a, at a uh, keyframe. And then we're going to make, and then we're going to type zero and watch this. I have a line that animates out. You can actually pull out the line so it actually animates a lot longer. And if you want to be even fancier, you can easy ease the last keyframe. So we go keyframe assistant, easy ease and it'll be a nice smooth out. Now what's even cooler is you can add an extra repeater on top of that, add repeater at the very bottom and we'll go down to the transform of the repeater and we'll turn this to zero. But if we wanna make it repeat above, um, we can actually just, I mean above, we can make two more copies that mimic what happens above. And what's cool about this is that, you know, whatever you change to that first thing will be repeated on the second thing. So it's it's a complete mirror of everything that's happening, which is fantastic. So what's cool, we only want two copies, so we're gonna change this copy to two. And um, if we turn the text on again, I'll just show you. Um, we'll actually move this down, the position of this down. And then what we'll do is we'll change the repeater uh, position so that it's a bit further up. And there we go, it sort of fits in between. and. There we go. We can do it just like that. And what's cool is that whatever you decide, if you decide to change the shape of the word you're using, so for example, uh, you know, just something like that, and it's a little bit shorter than what you originally had, you can come straight into this and you only need to change one parameter and just make it like that short and then it'll update everything else as you go, which is pretty much as easy as that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And look, I've got a whole bunch of other tutorials you can click around here to see what they are. But ultimately, like I'm going to post new stuff every week, just some simple After Effects, kind of very beginner type stuff that people just want to get into. So I want to get you guys going. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And remember, guys, After Effects should never be used for editing. Peace.